Welcome to Enterprise Epics, where we delve into the captivating chronicles of business empires, innovative concepts, and market phenomena that shape our world. Today, we journey through the story of a brand that's just as famous for its imagery as its cuisine, a chain that, despite its controversies, has stood resilient in the fierce tides of the restaurant industry. Imagine walking into a vibrant establishment, the air thick with the scent of sizzling wings and the cheer of sports fans. The walls are adorned with screens, each broadcasting a different game. This isn't just any restaurant, it's an icon, a cultural phenomenon with a uniform as famed as the food it serves. Yes, we're talking about a brand, whose logo, a wise bird, embodies both the restaurant's name and an unforgettable play on words. This is the saga of Hooters. Now, hold that thought. If you're already engrossed in this tale, ensure you hit that subscribe button to join us on more epic business adventures. Our tale begins on a sandy Florida beach in 1983, where six friends united by ambition, yet novices in gastronomy decided to create a dining experience that would defy the odds. They chose a venue that seemed cursed, one that had been a graveyard for previous ventures. Their first day was less than stellar, with kitchen mishaps, a missing alcohol license, and a sparse crowd of just three patrons. But their fortunes were about to change. Not just through a diverse and delectable menu that played a pioneering role in popularizing chicken wings, but through an ingenious approach to branding that would etch their image into the public psyche. From their cheeky establishment name sparked by a Steve Martin routine to their whimsical marketing stunts, such as a chicken suit escapade and a half-sunken boat transformed into a billboard, Hooters knew how to catch the eye. Their breakthrough moment arrived when a Super Bowl star dined and celebrated there, casting a spotlight that would forever change their destiny. Through franchising, Hooters expanded rapidly. They sponsored sports events, starred in magazine spreads, and even ventured into aviation and casino enterprises. Yet, as their fame skyrocketed, so did the scrutiny. You see, the Hooters brand has weathered its fair share of storms, the most enduring debate circles around their hiring practices, which favor female servers known as Hooters Girls, a choice that sparked lawsuits and national conversations about gender roles in the workplace. The 90s saw them under the microscope of the Equal Employment Opportunity Commission, leading to a memorable and controversial marketing campaign featuring a fictional male server donned in the iconic Hooters uniform. The message was clear. The brand was unapologetically committed to its identity even in the face of legal pushback. But it wasn't just about the men who weren't hired. Women who became part of the Hooters family faced their own battles. From unsettling harassment claims to discrimination lawsuits, the narratives were complex and often unsettling. In recent years, claims ranged from hairstyles leading to dismissals, to biased restaffing post-pandemic, painting a picture of corporate culture in need of introspection and change. Social media has also played its part, magnifying employee voices that challenge the company's choices, like the controversial uniform changes that sparked an uproar across platforms. These instances have forced the brand to reckon with modern values and the evolving expectations of both its staff and clientele. Yet, even with these tribulations, Hooters has remained afloat for over four decades. This endurance begs the question, how has this brand maintained its allure? Part of the answer lies in its ability to adapt and evolve while staying true to its core identity. It's this delicate balance of nostalgia and novelty that has kept patrons returning. The Hooters story is a tapestry woven with threads of audacity, controversy, and a dash of American culture. It's a narrative that demonstrates the complexities of brand identity in an ever-changing societal landscape. As we've peeled back the layers of this iconic establishment, we're reminded that the paths to success are rarely linear and often paved with unexpected challenges. Continuing our in-depth look at Hooters, we must acknowledge the significant part the restaurant plays in local communities. Each franchise often acts as a hub for local events, charity fundraisers, and sports gatherings, creating a sense of camaraderie and local engagement. It's this community connection that often gets lost in the broader narrative of the brand but is crucial to its sustained presence in the towns and cities it calls home. Hooters has also mastered the art of merchandise, selling everything from apparel to hot sauce. Their brand extends beyond the confines of their establishments, 
finding its way into homes and daily lives. It's a strategy that keeps their image in the public eye, even when controversy seems to push it out of favor. Furthermore, the chain has understood the necessity of digital evolution. They've embraced online ordering and delivery services, catering to the convenience that modern diners often seek. This pivot to technology has been a lifeline during times when the traditional dine-in model has faced challenges, especially during the global pandemic when restaurant doors were closed and eating at home became the new normal. Yet for all its domestic endeavors, Hooters has not shied away from international expansion. It's a global ambassador of sorts for the American casual dining experience, with locations spanning from Asia to Latin America. This international presence has not only diversified their revenue streams, but also challenged the brand to adapt to different cultural landscapes where the concept may not translate as directly as it does in the United States. Critically, the Hooters brand has been a case study in media representation. It is featured in countless films and TV shows, often as a quintessential element of American dining culture. This exposure has both perpetuated its iconic status and served as a double-edged sword by reinforcing certain stereotypes the brand has been trying to navigate beyond. As we explore the fabric of Hooters' story, we also find resilience in innovation. They've experimented with concepts like Hoots, a fast casual spin-off, with a more modest dress code for servers, and a focus on takeout and delivery. This concept aims to cater to a broader audience, acknowledging the shifting cultural winds while retaining the essence of the Hooters DNA, a love for wings and sports. The company's philanthropic efforts also paint a more nuanced picture of the enterprise. Their support for causes like breast cancer research and disaster relief efforts highlights a corporate responsibility that endeavors to contribute positively to society, a facet that can often be overshadowed by other more sensational aspects of the brand. In the narrative of Hooters, we see a powerful tension between tradition and transformation. On one hand, the brand holds tightly to the nostalgia and the cheeky rebel spirit that fueled its early days. On the other, it strives to navigate the complex demands of contemporary cultural and market dynamics. The future of Hooters remains an open question. Will it continue to lean into its legacy, or will the scales tip toward reinvention? What is clear is that its journey offers invaluable lessons on branding, adaptability, and the dance between corporate identity and cultural values. As this chapter in our Enterprise Epics series concludes, remember that the story of Hooters is still being written. The brand stands at a crossroads of identity, challenged to redefine itself for a new era while holding on to the distinct flavor that made it a household name. Thank you for joining us on this deep dive into the enigma that is Hooters. Don't forget to subscribe for more tales of business ingenuity, cultural intersections, and the indomitable spirit of enterprise. Stay tuned, and we'll see you on the next episode of Enterprise Epics, where we'll uncover another chapter of business history that continues to shape our world.